This is ANN News Brief. Good afternoon. I'm Lucy Adeyemi. Doctors and medical practitioners have raised concern over deviating from original COVID-19 vaccination plan. The federal government had announced after the arrival of 3.9 million AstraZeneca vaccine into Nigeria that medical frontline workers would be prioritized, following by, followed by elderly and those with co-mobility. The chairman of Nigeria Medical Association's National Committee on Infectious Diseases, Dr. Sanusi Mohammed, said the plan is not being followed at the ongoing vaccination of citizens across the country of vaccinating health workers, frontline workers, those with higher mobility and mortality rate, is not being uh, followed. Sanusi said during a webinar organized by Yaga Africa to look at emerging issues and challenges in the cause of vaccine distribution and to prefer solutions that the idea of vaccinating frontline health workers is because they are at higher risks due to constant contact with patients. He said uh, have to be protected first so they can be confident to provide health care and services. Mohammed added that there is a need to stick to the vaccination plan so that even if the vaccine doesn't go round, those with higher risk, elderly and those with high mobility and mortality are prevented from getting infected and that will reduce the burden of the disease and mortality. President Muhammad Buhari has spoken on the need for Nigeria to remain as one indivisible entity. President Buhari said virtually during the 12th colloquium in Kano to mark the 69th birthday of former governor of Lagos State, Bola Hamed Tinubu Amande, that the country is better together and stronger despite the diversity of ethnicity, culture, language and religion of the Nigerian people. Buhari said, quote, despite occasional inter-ethnic tensions in our national history, it seems to me that we have all agreed on one point, that notwithstanding, Nigerians are better together, even stronger together, end quote. On Monday during the event, uh, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo also reminded advocates of the breakup of Nigeria that if it happens, people will require visas to move around Professor Shiba just said holding the event in Kano proves the point that the country is stronger and more powerful together than apart. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Three soldiers have been reported killed and seven wounded when two military posts in Northern Ivory Coast came under attack early on Monday. Five senior military sources said two assailants were also killed and four others were detained. The military sources said two soldiers were killed in a raid on a military camp in Kafolu, near the border with Burkina Faso, and an officer stationed at another post in nearby Tahini was killed as the assailants fled the scene. Weapons and other military equipment were seized in the raids, and Ivorian troops were carrying out a search operation in the area. There was no immediate claim of responsibility for the attacks. An Ivorian army source said that the attackers had been identified as from neighboring Burkina Faso, but this cannot be confirmed. That is ANN News Brief at 1. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I am Lucy Ademi.